Hey guys, Peter James here. I thought it might be really helpful to do a quick little video just talking about keyboards, MIDI controllers, um, and then talk through my live setup and how I have it all set up. I know I have a lot of people asking me um, kind of the same question um, about keyboard advice on what keyboard should they buy or what keyboard do they recommend for churches. Um, so I recently went on my own journey to replace my Roland A90. Um, and just recently got this uh, Yamaha YC88. So I thought it might be helpful to share my journey, um, all the things that I looked for when I was um, comparing different keyboards um, and finally landing on this YC88. Um, so yeah, I'll quickly talk through my setup and uh, then kind of go through the things that I was looking for and why I decided to pick this keyboard. So obviously I've got the Yamaha YC88 in front of me. I've got my Apple uh, Mac in front of me that I'm using uh, main stage on to create all my sounds. Uh, we've got a Korg Nano controller here that's controlling a lot of the parameters on my main stage rig, but I also use the um, YC88 to control things like the draw bars and the fast slow rotor for my organs. Um, we've got um, an Apollo Twin X Universal Audio Interface, um, and this is exactly what I use live at Hillsong Church. This exact setup, um, we actually have two YC88s at our main Hillsong campus as well. So it's really cool because I go from home to church and I've got the exact same keyboard there, uh, which is really, really handy too. Um, so the first thing that I knew that I wanted when I was uh, looking for a keyboard was 88 notes. I wanted it to be full 88 notes. I knew it would live in my studio, so I didn't worry about portability, all of that kind of stuff. I knew I wanted it to be weighted, but I didn't know if I wanted it to be uh, graded hammer action or whether I wanted it to be equal tempered across the whole keyboard. So there's kind of two different types of weighted keyboards. Um, the wood graded hammer action is what the YC88 has. It means it's slightly heavier hammer action at the bottom and slightly lighter. It's, it's hard to tell. It's not majorly different. Um, so that was my first concern. I was like... I don't just play piano, I play organ, synths, roads, all these other sounds. Is it going to annoy me if I have it um, graded hammer action like a real piano or will it be fine? So that was my first journey. I tried out a bunch of different Yamaha keyboards with different um, actions and I actually really, really liked um, the YC88 and the CP88 um, hammer action. So that's why I chose that. I tried it out with obviously organs, everything else, and I'm like, yep, this is going to work for me. Um, so that's the first thing. If you're looking for a keyboard or MIDI controller, first thing I think, which is one of the biggest uh, reasons why I got this, is the action. Do you want non-weighted? Do you want semi-weighted? Do you want weighted? And then if you want weighted, do you want graded piano hammer action, or do you want it to be kind of equal tempered? So those are the things to think about. Uh, reasons why you might want non-weighted would be if you're doing just organs. Um, you may or may not know that um, real tone wheel organs like a B3, C3, um, they have waterfall keys. It looks like a piano hammer action, but it's actually um, really light. It's um, non-weighted basically. Um, and so if you're doing a lot of glides up and a lot of intricate organ stuff, you may want a non-weighted or you might want to get two, <laughs> one um, with really great piano action for pianos and that kind of stuff, or um, another one for organs. But this works great for me for organs. I use it for everything. Um, the second thing after I figured out that this is the hammer action that I wanted was, did I want the YC88 or the CP88? Because the hammer action was identical. It had slightly different sounds. Um, but the reason why I leaned towards the YC88 was the draw bars here. So you can see in main stage, I'm controlling the draw bar settings um, of my virtual organ, um, which was really valuable for me because I like to be able to adjust the draw bars live. Um, it means I can perform and obviously manipulate the organ's tone in real time. Um, that was a big um, deciding factor between the CP88 and the YC88 for me. I was going to go CP88 originally because it was cheaper and it was going to save me a bunch of money, but decided, okay, these draw bars are what I want. Um, I also have the rotor, fast, slow, mapped to the fast, slow button here. So it's kind of an all around organ kind of MIDI um, compatible keyboard that I wanted with that. Um, I use the Korg Nano Control for everything else, for um, volumes and bringing other effects and controlling all the other parameters. Um, but the organ, I uh, use the YC88 for that. Um, another thing that 
Yamaha keyboards do really well is actually um, a lot of you might not even know it. I didn't even know it um, till recently that you can plug your laptop directly into the Yamaha keyboard and you can use it as an interface. So you just plug um, your jack cables out of the keyboard like you would normally do if you're just using a um, keyboard and you can either mix the internal sounds of like this YC88 with your computer sounds or you can use it as a backup. So it's a really, really good choice if you're um, looking for a keyboard for your church and you've got some players that um, may be new to technology and they're starting to use a laptop but they're not confident with it. Um, you can actually plug the laptop directly into the keyboard, have it as a backup if the computer dies or something goes wrong, bring up the master volume and you've got um, full access to all the inbuilt sounds. So that was just a kind of added bonus on top of um, the weighted hammer action and the drawbar um, MIDI compatibility with um, my door, which is main stage. Um, I obviously use the mod wheel as well. You can see that um, effect in the mod wheel, virtual mod wheel in the main stage. I don't really use pitch a lot, but I can if I want. Um, and so yeah, those were the deciding factors um, in getting this. I don't actually use the internal sounds 99.9% .9 of the time. I'm mitting it up to uh, my Mac and main stage, but it's kind of good to have that as a backup if I ever needed to um, have a keyboard with inbuilt sounds or if for some reason um, my interface or computer died or something, I could easily um, pull up internal sounds. So that's uh, the reason why I chose the YC88. But I highly recommend if you're looking for a keyboard um, to go to a music store if you can and try a bunch of different keyboards. Obviously, I can give my recommendation for Yamaha, but not everyone's going to love um, the hammer action of this. Everyone has their own personal preference when it comes to um, weighted keyboards and how they feel. And you're never going to get an idea until you actually physically try um, a bunch of different keyboards. And that's what I did. I actually tried um, Nord Stage 2. I tried the portable hammer action, the normal um, Nords, a bunch of different um, Yamaha ones as well until I came and decided to uh, choose the YC88 after comparing all the different options. Another thing to think about when you're looking for a weighted um, keyboard is make sure the kickback is fast enough because if it's slow um, it'll limit how fast you can play um, and that's one thing I noticed on the Nord portable hammer action keyboards. The kickback isn't fast enough meaning the notes don't bounce back quick enough and I really struggled to play uh, fast uh, musical pieces on it because the kickback was so slow. So just keeping in mind little things like that and trying it out, playing fast, slow, um, seeing how quick that um, kickback is. Also I notice if I'm on a semi-weighted or non-weighted and I'm trying to play piano, um, I usually make a lot more mistakes because if I'm doing something quick and my finger goes between two notes, on a non-weighted, it easily pushes um, that key that I don't want to push down um, because it's got no force feedback, it's got no weight to it. Um, so me doing fast stuff and slipping or whatever, I notice I would play a lot more mistakes and kind of bum notes on non-weighted than I do with weighted. So that's another reason uh, why I really wanted um, fully weighted hammer action. So I hope that really helped. Just wanted to do a quick little video just explaining the reasons why I chose the YC88 uh, keyboard um, and hopefully it helps you with your journey on picking MIDI controllers, keyboards um, and just a few little things to think about uh, when you're picking that for either yourself or your church.